folks will. This is me on the Embargo Man channel, right? So what we telling you today is the reason besides all this stuff, Airbus outsells Boeing, right? And let me tell you the reason why, right? All of these news out of suddenly, yeah, even editing and something about Huawei. Huawei, Huawei this, Huawei that, with Google ban Huawei and this trade war thing. Here we go. Put it this way. One of the mentioning of all these things going on, the 737 MAX, the Boeing 737 MAX, uh, you, you know, both the engine and stuff, this is just an excuse to use this stuff, right? I mean, anybody who might just say, what else for otherwise, saying, okay, do we want to get a, get a phone, right? So, this is, this is kind of stupid, this is, this is just kind of, you know, not, not letting progress and not letting, like, you know, people don't know what is going on. You know, so I don't know what I mentioned. I'm talking about copies, right? Countries copying a, a product from another. Why? I mean, the reason why it is important to copy is to improve quality of certain existing products, right? So probably bet some of you buying knockoffs of Harley Davidson and it came out better quality than the original, right? That it come from China, that it comes better quality than the original and then I don't have to freaking take my back to repairs and whatever. If they existed, if you really bought them, if you really bought them, great. They sell it in the US. Big trouble. <laughs> yeah, it's true because they're making garbage now, you know? Or if anything possible, be my guess, right? Put it that way, Airbus, right? This trade war, or whatever, this kind of like it, Huawei ditches Google and stuff, all because of that. All because of a stupid trade war. Because, yeah, it happened with Japan. They have dealt with Japan. Japan never made airplanes, but... Hey, the thing, is, the thing is, with this trade war, besides this Huawei and, and, and Google thing, is Airbus and Boeing. Most of the Airbus would be like airplanes. I mean, Comac is developing their, their, their C919, or it's not out of the market yet. Most of the Airbus that are going to be sold are made in tangent, right? There's a reason why Airbus is outselling Boeing, or now why Boeing, uh, Airbus kicks Boeing's ass right now, is because now, like because of this trade war, this tangent are, are, are like making A320s left and right. I mean, the A320s are outselling the, the Boeing 737 MAX. Most of these Airbus A320s that are going to sell most likely comes from the Tangent Factory. The Tangent Factory is an Airbus factory only dedicated for the Chinese market, right? So the so things going on. This is kind of risky business out there. This trade war. This most likely depends in what even U.S. auto companies focus on. China. Better yet, tough luck with this trade war thing, right? But then, what, what else is going to be? What Apple's going to do? Make make iPhones in Mexico? Because of the straight war? Possibly, yeah. This is the reason I believe that this kind of trade war 
which is sanctions U.S. companies, they say, all right, it is, I think it is a good decision in some sort, in a way, that some certain U.S. companies might just think about it if they're getting out in some certain foreign markets that some say they believe or they believe that A, what they don't believe, oh, if they, they have to succeed to improve quality of certain products or never think about for having or buying a certain company or having more of an investment in that country that they just put a factory in that country. That's just my idea with this thing on the photography film industry. I was just thinking about it. Always thinking of Kodak putting a factory in Japan to compete in Japan. That's what Force needs to do, or that's what GM needs to do, or the big three. Besides this trade war with China, that's what it is if people choosing their leaders or whatever. And this is the reason why Airbus is outselling Boeing. And most likely that the sales, if they have any revenue, it is bad for Boeing. It is bad business. What is these leftover airplanes, leftover 737s staying there for a Chinese airliner? They ain't gonna buy it. Why? Because of a trade war. And what about all these A320s Man being manufactured in Tangent? They're going to sell a lot of these A320, A320s built at Tangent from Airbus. Airbus is going to outsell the Boeing 737s. Most of the Airbus that they, that they go and outsell the the mostly Airbus A320 that are going to outsell the Boeing 737s are gonna come out from the from the Tangent factory. The Tangent factory would create more money for Airbus regarding to this trade war between the U.S. and China and. That would make, you know, best for Airbus. Who's going to lose? Boeing. What is Boeing going to do? They is going to sell, even if they fix their 737 place, they ain't going to have, they have, you know, they have a better off, they'll be better off selling their airplanes in Japan than selling them in China. Why? Because Boeing don't have a factory in China and it's a U.S. based company. Then Boeing might have better chance selling their their airplanes outside of China and other countries in Europe ex and, and Asia, except for China. Well, Airbus would strive. They're selling left and right. They're just outselling Boeing right now. They're outselling Boeing in the Tangent factory. What what else would would this president have done? I mean, Trump has done is this is giving out air about air is giving out Airbus to create more jobs in tension as the main core market for airplanes. As long if they switch to a democracy or whatever it is, then. It would be better for Boeing. If not, Airbus is winning the is winning the bear the battle of selling the most, you know, commercial airplanes. And I bet that this thing would be the A320 Neo would be the best selling airliner in the world. And most of the A320 Neo, the biggest market, the biggest factory of the A320 Neo would come up from Tangent. Tangent will make more Airbus A320s than Air than Boeing having left having leftovers only to sell their 
airplanes to Australia, right? Or to England. You know, they have better chance selling their... I mean, Boeing has better chance selling their airplanes in Europe than Airbus has a better chance selling their airplanes in China. Airbus is winning. So even though Airbus is based in Europe, most likely the the U.S. market, the A320s made for the U.S. market are going to be built in Mobile, Alabama. The A320s for China, that's where they're going to make the most A320s, are going for the Chinese market, are going to be built in Tangent. Tangent will make more airplanes and Airbus due to whatever it is with this trade war are giving more jobs in Tangent because of Boeing 737s are not going to be purchased from Chinese airliners and then like some of the stuff that you come from China are gonna come in in an Airbus airplane instead of a Boeing airplane you know brand new Boeing cargo plane? Nope. Brand new Boeing, I mean, brand new Airbus cargo plane. Shipping your, shipping stuff coming from China in an Airbus because of a trade war, because of the high tariffs. <laughs> Shoot, they're like saying, oh, I'm, how I'm going to, how I'm going to buy, it looks like a Chinese-based car company. Like, how I'm going to buy a Boeing airplane because it's too expensive. Damn tariffs. I'm going with Airbus. Simple as that. Airbus is winning this battle of this airline industry. There's two airplane giants. Airbus is winning. Why? Airbus have a factory in Tangent. Well, Boeing still made in the U.S. of A. Even though they're lost and everything. But, you know, out of summary, that this market would be all of spying, all of copying products all of copies most likely there's like a bigger chance of a percentage of chance like a 99 percent chance that the imitation of a western product most likely an imitation of a most of an american product most likely these popular motorcycles the imitation of that brand would come out better quality than the original. That's just 99% chance, right? It is true. Full, uh, the truth is that you know some products are like saying, "Okay, we're gonna st we're gonna copy them. We're gonna copy that. We're gonna stop the oil leaks." They stop the oil leaks. They copy, stop the oil leaks, and then what happened? I don't have I have a, I have a trouble-free product. Exactly what it is, right? Most likely you. What is it for Comac? What is it for those? Those leftover Boeing 737s are going to be copied. They're going to fix the issue before Boeing fixes the, the issue that even though if Boeing doesn't, it, it didn't hurry up to fix that issue with those airplanes, then the, the copies from China are, will be the only ones fixing the issues on these faulty 737s and they become more like a safer product in order to, for people to fly. People will fly these copycat 737s that are safer than the originals that are made, that are made in America, that are made in the USA. So, what is the cash of all these things? Or what is the cash of all this? Well, first of all, everybody copies from everybody. That's the truth, right? That's why from Coca-Cola come out Pepsi and so on, right? And third, competition. It just give up more competition, right? For like, you have, who's making a better product? Well, why the copycat product is better than the original, right? And that has always has been through until they have this copycat product. Like they like, you know, remember the copycat product. Like, what the heck? This come they, they this company made this product. They copied from another company and they made it better. Simple, plain, 
plain simple fact simple as that right that's how it is the same thing that will happen with these companies they will lose money and most likely that's gonna happen and the copycat would be the winner the copycat will always be the winner if the original product comes out not fixing a flaw that's the reason why I would say it's good to sometimes it's good to support this, this, uh, these things even Oreo has been copied uh, they copied from another company that made cookies and they made the better product what happened to the to the original product that or that the Bisco copied and called it Oreo? They lost. No longer be recognizable, forgotten in history. That's the simple thing is that. Airbus on the other hand is winning this airplane war because of the straight war. Just simple as that. What if we don't have any trade war? What if the U.S. has no, there's no trade war between the U.S. and China. What if it's in motorcycles, right? There's a copycat from Harley Davidson that is called Harvey Bradison, right? What would happen with Harley Davidson and you have a Harvey Bradison from China? It would be forgotten. It would be no longer in existence. It would go out of business because the Harvey Bradison brand from China has made a better quality product, a better quality bike, and Harley Davidson go went out of business and turns into the fate of the dodo bird. That is true, and I say, and I say that is a plain fact that that would happen. But in the case of the straight war, going with airplanes, Airbus is winning, Boeing is losing. Why Airbus is winning? Why Airbus won? Because most of their airplanes that are being manufactured by Airbus are coming out from Tangent. And they're coming out from the Tangent factory. Boeing is getting screwed. They're only going to sell products in certain markets. They're losing Chinese airline liners. And why? Because Airbus says, all right. Airbus is, you know, popping up planes in Tangent or popping all these A320s coming out of Tangent because that's the reason why. And they have it for a while has Airbus opened a factory in Tangent, China. And now Airbus is winning. This is the reason why, you know. This is the reason why because of a trade war. Because of a trade war between U.S. and China. Airbus is winning because most of their airplanes are coming out of Tangent. And these Chinese airliners are buying more Airbus planes because of a trade war with the U.S. And eventually, thanks to Airbus for opening, in, opening up a factory in Tangent, your company's winning. They're outselling Boeing because of this stupid trade war. So... And please uh, subscribe me to the Embargo Man channel, and I hope for that country to, you know, transcend sense to a democracy, a democracy, and let all these things be a whole different story. And if you have seen it for years to come, then people would notice it that oh, this is just a whole different story. Now. It's gonna be the same story that, like what happened with Russia, right? So goodbye and peace out.